Hi guys, I am here today to give you a little bit of information about getting a client started right. So when clients come in, um, they come to us for a ton of different reasons. They come to us for change, for information, for support. Um, they can either come to us on their own because they're ready to make a change or, to, or gain that information or that knowledge, or they can come to us because somebody in their life has told them that they need to, whether that's a physician or a partner or their children. And, and, and somebody could be almost forcing or encouraging them strongly to come. They can come to us at their very first attempt at change or they can come to us at their hundredth attempt to change. But we need to make sure that when somebody walks in our door, we know why they're coming to us, what they're coming to us for, and what the situation around them walking in our door is for them because it's really um, very much so going to impact how we direct them and how we interact with them. We want to make sure that when somebody comes in, one of the first things we do once we find out that they are here for information about a plan or um, to, to sit down with us and go through the nutritional assessment is to help them develop and understand their why or their vision. Um, when companies start, one of the first things that they come up with is their in their business plan is their vision. And your personal why is very much so like a business's vision um, or vision statement. You want to make sure that you guide them to a why that has an emotional attachment to it. Um, a why that's going to get them out of bed in the morning, something that really hits home for them. And that might really um, come from helping them figure out what their goal, what it's going to feel like in the end. So what it's going to feel like to be 10 pounds thinner, is that going to make you feel more confident? Is it going to give you more energy so you can be energetic with your kids or your partner? Is it going to feel um, amazing to be able to travel and to fit into clothes that you haven't fed it, fit into in years? So really kind of help them develop their why, their vision from a really strong um, base point of emotion. Once they develop their why, the next part of getting a client started right is to help them develop their SMART goal. And that's something that we're working on uh, within the store. And SMART goals are super easy to set, but a lot of people um, have failed in the past. They've set goals and they've failed. And a lot of times it's because they haven't been SMART. And that acronym SMART, the first part of it stands for specific. And that means that when a client says, I want to lose weight, that's not specific enough. I want to lose X amount of pounds of body fat. I want to lose um, X amount of inches as measured. I want to gain more energy. And you then go into that next part, the M, which is measured by. So we have an incredible tool in our stores our, with our in-body where we can really help people accurately measure a lot of things that they set goals. Now, if they want to set something that I want to be a better role model for my kids or um, I want to, like I said before, have more energy. Um, those are things that are more tricky to measure, but they can absolutely be measured by my ability to play in the yard for an hour with my kids or my ability to see them make smarter choices or healthier choices. Um, we can help them figure out a way to measure any goal that they set. But remember, we've got that easy, right at the, our fingertips tool with the in-body. Measurable, we talked about, so then attainable. You wanna make sure that people are setting goals that are attainable and realistic. And the attainable piece is how are you going to attain it? Um, and that's with help from us with a meal plan. That might be going through our online coaching program. That might be also uh, referring other people and getting themselves some accountability partners or mentors. It may also look like them joining a gym or a fitness program or um, downloading Couch to 5K or whatever it's going to look like for them, but helping them figure out a way that it is attainable and helping them brainstorm some ways that um, some things that they're doing really well so far that are going to help them reach their goal as well as some areas that they need to strengthen. So really walking them through how they're going to attain it and is it a realistic goal. You want to make sure that whenever someone is setting um, an amount of pounds that they're going to release or a percentage of body fat or inches or anything like that, that it's realistic. Uh, and the realistic part is for the most part, any any goal can be realistic, but in the amount of time to make it one, healthy, and two, sustainable. If somebody comes in and says to you in 30 days they want to lose 90 pounds, well, that may not necessarily be realistic. So us really walking them through what's a realistic goal and what's healthy and will be sustainable and maintainable 
when they've hit their, their point where they've hit their goal. How are they going to maintain it? And the last part of that SMART goal is timed. With any goal that somebody sets, you don't want to just say, I want to lose 10 pounds and I'm going to measure it with the in-body at some point. No, you want to set a time-tabled goal for that. And then help them set little mini goals along the way. So if you want to lose 10 pounds in a month, so maybe it's 2 pounds per week, or and then you realize that they might need 5 weeks to lose 10 pounds. But break that goal down because what that is going to allow you to do with that timed piece, and if you break it into smaller chunks, is you won't go 30 days and realize that your strategies or the way you're attaining your goal aren't working. It allows you to stop along the way and check in and see if your strategies are working. Maybe they need to, um, maybe they're going hard on cardio, maybe they need to add some resistance training. Maybe they need to take their bars out of their plan or um, for me it's always, when I get to a sticking point, it's always eliminating peanut butter. So helping them figure out what are the little things that they can tweak along the way to hit that timed goal by setting smaller timed mini goals. Um, one of the last things that we want to do when we're getting a client started right um, after we help them come up with that vision after we figure out why they've come to us after we've really helped them set that smart goal is to remind them in that in creating these smart goals that they are completely and totally empowered that no matter what they faced in the past no matter what they've tried in the past they may have tried 10 different fitness programs and 20 different uh, nutritional programs um, they may be somebody who um, has five kids or is a single parent or works from home or travels a ton for work, no matter what their life circumstances are, by setting these goals, developing ways to attain them, we are empowering them to be successful. And we have to remember that when you empower somebody, um, you have to always remind them that they cannot create the outside forces in their life. They, they may be able to change them but they cannot create every single outside force in their life, but empower them to know that they can control how they experience them, how they perceive them, and how they react to these circumstances around them. And in empowering them, setting them off back into the world with a vision and a why, or vision or a why, a goal, some attainable, some strategies to attain that goal, and really empowered, we're really setting our clients up for success. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, otherwise, I look forward to uh, supporting you guys as you support others. Get started with us. Thanks.